uh, let me start today's course. So today's course, in the beginning, we'll talk about Alibaba Cloud China Connect service. And then in the middle of the China Connect service, we'll also talk about the ICP licensing thing. So if you're curious about where you can see the Alibaba Cloud China Connect, well, here's the place that you can see it. So if you go to our Alibaba Cloud portal, which is actually, let me go back to the address again, which is www.alibabacloud.com. And if you see the middle navigation bar, you will always see the China Connect service here. And if you press the button, then it will guide you to this link to the China Connect service uh, introduction page. So what we are going to talk about is actually similar to this introduction page, but we will talk about more detail about it. So let's go back to the slide. So what is this Alibaba Cloud China Connect service? Well, this China Connect service, the aim of it is to help you resolve the three challenges that you will face when you're building a China-ready service, for example, a China-ready website, or a China-ready service like a, 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 an online shop or an app that are ready to service the customers in China, then you will need to use the China Connect service to make sure your service is ready for the China market. And there are three components in the China Connect service. So the first thing is Alibaba Cloud provide comprehensive web hosting service for you. And the second thing is Alibaba Cloud provide the support to help you get the required ICP license. And the final part is Alibaba Cloud give you a chance to uh, partner with the companies in Alibaba ecosystem to help you to uh, get your product or get your service to expose to more China customers to help your business grow faster as fast as possible. Okay, so let's move on. So the following page will start with some introduction about uh, what is the current situation of the China market and also the status of the China uh, internet environment. So let's start with the China market. So the China market, you can see uh, there's a chart comparing the uh, the e-commerce e sales growth uh, in China and in US starting from 2012 to 2018. And you can see uh, China market really has a very big opportunity. Uh, you can see compared to the sales growth from 2012 to 2016, the China sales growth is actually 434% growth compared to the U.S. sales growth, it's actually even triple the growth of the U.S. sales growth. So this actually gives you an idea that how big the opportunity is in the China market and also a give, give you a good compelling reason that why you should try to aim to the China market because there's really a big opportunity here. But although the China market really brings a big opportunity, there are really many things that are quite different, especially if you're uh, considering the internet environment in China. So in the, in the China's internet environment, there are many things, oops, sorry, there are many things that are not accessible in China. So for example, like the Google service, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and also Twitter, those are not accessible. But the lucky thing is, there are a lot of things that are accessible in China and they work similar to the services that cannot work in China. And also uh, for the China, there are many things that are different as well. They, for example, China is really big. So in China, there's actually two big telecoms that dominate two different parts of China. So you can actually see the north part of China which is actually dominated by one telecom company named China Unicom. And the south part of China is dominated by another telecom called China Telecom. And also because of in, the chi in China there are the Great Firewall, so there are some sites that will be blocked or filtered or even not accessible inside China. And also this Great Firewall also ensure that in the China, if you want to publish a website or publish a service, you must get licensed. If you don't get licensed and just publish the website or service by yourself, then uh, sooner or later, you'll find your service be banned. And also another thing is, well, the countryside thing is for the China, the whole China territory, there are different telecom operators dominating two different parts. That's what we mentioned earlier. And the third thing is about the regulation thing. So in China, there's the network security law, the law that 
uh, at demand due to apply for the ICP thing and also there are the law for the cloud service provider and also if you want to use the cloud resources inside China like the Alibaba cloud uh, the seven regions inside China if you want to use the service regions in China here then you must do the real name verification uh, or the real name registration listed here so that's the regulations that you will face if you want to open the business provide the service or even use the cloud service inside China and here for the telecoms in China there are China Telecom that dominate the south part of China and China Unicom dominate the north part of China and the third big telecom in China is China Mobile so these three are the big uh, telecom runners in China and also for public cloud well the dominating cloud service provider in China are all actually China brands so you'll see that we have Alibaba Clouds, Tencent Cloud, China Catch, Baidu Cloud and although uh, AWS and Azure they also provide service in China but they are not as uh, they are not as the big runners in China so most big cloud runners in China are China, China Public Cloud Services and for the CDN providers this is also the same as well uh, the Akamai that everyone usually more familiar with when using the CDN service is not the dominating CDN service provider in China. The dominating provider is the China Catch, the China Nest Center, which is also called Wangsu in Chinese, and also the third big runner CDN provider is Alibaba Cloud. So here's another uh, picture demonstrating Alibaba Cloud is the leading cloud service provider in China. So you can see it here, the left picture is actually from uh, IDC Marketscape. Uh, the, this is from their report telling about the China public cloud services, the comparison of the China public cloud services. And you can see Alibaba Cloud is actually marked as the dominating cloud service provider. And also another picture from Forrester also shows that inside China, Alibaba Cloud is the dominating cloud service provider, which actually leads to a conclusion that uh, if you really want to use a cloud, a public cloud service, then you should choose Alibaba Cloud in China, if you want to use it in China. And also there's another reason, fair reason, saying why uh, if you want to use the public cloud service in China, you should choose Alibaba Cloud. Because Alibaba Cloud, we do have uh, connected with the CDN network with best uh, quality. We provide a highly reliable network and with more than 500 self-built CDN nodes throughout China. And also, uh, when you use the Alibaba Cloud service, we have all our service regions connected with BGP lines. So no matter uh, you have your China user is using, for example, if you have some China users using China Unicom, some China users using China Telecom, if you host your service on Alibaba Cloud, both types of users, they can access your service very well. Don't need to worry about, oh, my cloud ser my service is hosted on Alibaba Cloud and only China Telecom users can use my service very well and uh, China mobile service users cannot. This, this won't happen when you use Alibaba Cloud because we have all our service regions connected to BGP lines. And also the third, which is actually I think the most compelling reason is Alibaba Cloud is the only cloud service provider that has the most service region in China. You can see we have seven service regions in China, which is actually much more than the regions provided by uh, Azure, AWS, or even our competitors like Tencent. So let's go back to the three services uh, Alibaba Cloud China Connect service provide. So the first one is a complete web hosting service. So in Alibaba Cloud, we provide not only the most service regions in China, we also provide the total solution to help you build your service. Like for example, if you're building a web page, then we have the comprehensive web hosting service that have you know the most service regions in China and also the most feature-rich uh, uh, cloud marketplace that has the most site-building softwares, so site-building tools, and also site-building services in the marketplace. So if you take a look at our Alibaba Cloud Marketplace, you'll find that in China, we have a lot of partners provide the site building services there. So if you, if you really don't know how to, you know, even building a website, then come to our marketplace, you can get the service right away. 
And also with Alibaba Cloud, we provide the DNS service as well. So you don't need to worry, oh, I use the Alibaba Cloud uh, service regions, uh, cloud servers like ECS. And then if I want to do the DNS registration, I need to go to find another service provider. Well, you don't, you don't need to because Alibaba Cloud has this service by ourselves. So you can do everything on our portal. And then let's move on to the second thing, which is actually, I think, the thing that everyone is very interested in is the ICP license. So, well, start before talking about what Alibaba Cloud can support for the ICP license, maybe let's start with what is this ICP license thing? Well, the ICP, what well, its full name is Internet Content Provider License. It's actually a legal and mandatory requirement from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology in China. And this is applied for all websites and all online services if you host it and provide service in China. So an ICP is required if you use a, you know, a, a virtual machine in China, a server in China, or you use the CDN service in China. And how Alibaba Cloud can offer is, we can offer you support to apply for the ICP license. We can start from uh, helping you to evaluate your situation, knowing that uh, what kind of situation you're in and which kind of license you do need to apply. And then after you know, oh, this is my status, I need to apply for this kind of a license. And then uh, when you need to do the application, Alibaba Cloud can help you to do the this kind of processing. We have partners that can do this kind of uh, ICP licensing uh, application and we can guide, we will, we will bridge you with the partner and then help you to go through this process. And so that's actually this, the thing I just said earlier leads to one big question is, many customers when they come to Alibaba using Alibaba Cloud China Connect Service, the first question they would ask is, do I need an ICP license? And Actually, we have this very useful table helping our customer to know what kind of situation they're in and do they need an ICP license or do they need some more additional licensing thing as well. So you can see from the use case part, if you are in the first row that you open your office in China or you are in the second row that you have uh, the data center in China and you have data center in overseas region like in US and you have a dedicated line to connect the two, the two data centers together. But the first two situation just means that you open the office in China, but you're not yet providing service to the China customer. And the second thing refer to you have the data center in China, data center in overseas region, you connect the two together with dedicated line, but only for internal use. You didn't provide the service to external customers. Then the first two rows, you don't need ICP license because you are not providing service to the external customers. You're not providing service to China customers, so you don't need ICP. But starting from the third case, if you have your website hosted outside China, like you host it in a server in US or in, uh, for example, Singapore or even Japan, and you use the CDN in China to accelerate your website, to have China customers can uh, view your website more fastly, then starting from this case, you will need an ICP filing. So you can see from this case, accelerating your overseas website in China using the China CDN, then you will need ICP filing. This is the most fundamental type of, of ICP license that you have to apply, ICP, which is ICP filing. Oops, okay. And then, if you're not only using the CDN in China, but you also launch your website inside China using the servers or even the virtual machine in China region, then also you will need the ICP filing. So you can see starting from the row number three and number four, since you are starting to provide the service, the online service to the customers inside China, to China citizens, then you will need ICP and the type of ICP you will need is ICP filing, the most fundamental type of ICP. And then after that, if you not only launch your website, but also your website provide online shop service, which means that actually your website has transactions happening there, then starting from this case, you will not only need 
ICP filing, but also you will need ICP commercial license. So you'll see starting from row number one, two, three, four, five, starting from row five, you will need ICP, uh, oops, ICP filing plus ICP commercial license. So this is actually more clear if you go to our Alibaba Cloud uh, portal, which if you go to our, if you go to our homepage, click the China Connect, and in this page, Alibaba Cloud China Connect, if you click the, wait, just wait a second, oh, here, apply for ICP certification. If you click this hyperlink, it will guide you to the ICP, support, ICP registration support page. And then here are some <coughs> contents that, it, that are similar to what I just mentioned earlier. Like for example, here's a quiz asking you, oh, do I need to register for an ICP filing? And you can click on the case that you think relates to the situation that you're in and then you'll get the answer related to it. So this is a page that I do recommend everyone to come and have a look. So later you can come to this page and have a look if you're interested in uh, applying for ICP and knowing what are the situation you're in and which type of ICP you need like ICP filing or ICP commercial license. And also in this page is really nice because you can see here's a full description of what is ICP filing and ICP commercial license. And then it talks about the six steps that you will go through if you apply for the ICP filing. So you will have to register an account on uh, Alibaba Cloud through Alibaba Cloud Portal. And then you have to submit all the required materials. And finally, because uh, you know China is a very big uh, country and have different provinces, and some provinces they will have additional type of license you have to apply for after you do the ICP filing process. So there's actually some information talk, telling you that uh, the, the type of uh, different additional licensing thing that you may need to apply. So you can see actually, if you go to this page, you'll see the six steps and also the related links that can guide you to telling you more information about the additional uh, licensing thing you may need to, need to apply if you launch your service in some provinces that need these licensing thing, okay? So that's for the ICP part. And then the final part, which is actually one, also one quite useful thing is, if you use the Alibaba Cloud China Connect service, after you have your service launched in China using the Alibaba Cloud uh, resources in China's re China regions, and also after you apply for the required ICP, then the third thing, also the third issue that you may face is when you enter the China market and have your service ready, ready <coughs> sorry, you may, you may want to have your service be shown to the most amount of China customers as possible, right? You want to broadcast and show your service to a lot of people in China to, and to attract a lot of people to use your service. So this is, also, this is also one main reason why we introduced this third service in our China Connect service, which is helping you to partner with uh, the companies in Alibaba ecosystem. So you can have a chance to partner with the companies like Tmall, Alipay, Cainiao, Flicky, or even like Youku or Tudo. So this is actually giving you a full idea of what are the companies in Alibaba ecosystem. So for cloud computing, we Alibaba, we have Alibaba Cloud. For marketing and advertisement uh, service, we have Alimama. For logistic, we have Cainiao service. For payment financial, we have uh, Alipay, which is actually part of and finance service. And for digital, we have, you know, Yuku, UC, Tudo, and a lot of companies in our ecosystem. And for uh, core commercing thing, we have Alibaba, Timo, Taobao, and AliExpress, Lazada, Zhihuasuan, Timo Global. And for local services, we have uh, Flicky, Herma, and uh, Gouda Map, which is actually branded as AMAP in English services and also like uh, Elema, Kobe, and, uh, and Taobao Movie. So we have a lot of companies in our ecosystem and China Connect service gives you a chance to partner with these companies and, and using these companies to help show your service to China customers. So one very good example that I always want to mention is Airbnb. So I guess some of you may notice that 
uh, in early 2016, Airbnb is still not yet accessible in China. So Airbnb at that time, Airbnb was very nervous because uh, Airbnb see that in inside China there are some copycats that making the service very similar to Airbnb and get great success in China. So they really want to enter China market and get the success too. So they come to Alibaba Cloud, and they they through Alibaba Cloud China Connect service they get using the complete web hosting service to launch their service in China service region, and also. They, through Alibaba Cloud China Connect service, they apply for the compulsory ISP license, and finally, they take advantage on the companies in Alibaba ecosystem. They partner with like Tmall, Taobao, Alipay, and Cainiao Flicky to have their service be shown to the most amount of China customers as possible. And there's actually a very good example on Alipay if you take a look. So let me uh, show some screenshots to you. Hold on. So if you open Alipay, like the picture I just posted in the group, then you'll see that in Alipay, if you go to more services, you'll see that there's a dedicated uh, entry point for Airbnb. That's what we Ali, our Alipay built especially for Airbnb because Airbnb through the China Connect service, they partner with Alipay. So Alipay build this entry point for Airbnb to showcase Airbnb service to Alipay customers. And if you want to know how success this thing helps Airbnb, then I can give you a very good example. Before 2016 or in early 2016, Airbnb is not accessible. So no China customers, they know about Airbnb. Everyone, if they want to use this kind of, you know, share house service, they will go to the you know, the Airbnb copycats company in China. But after 2016, Airbnb, they went through the China, China Connect service and launched their service and partnered with uh, like Alipay, Tmall, Taobao. In the end of 2016 or early 2017, at that time, if you ask someone in China saying, oh, uh, it's almost weekend, let's, uh, share, let's use a share house service and rent a place and have fun in the weekend. And then everyone will say, okay, so let's uh, go to order some place in Airbnb. So that's how success, how powerful this service can help for a company entering China and want to get great success in China. And also, uh, let's go a little bit back to the portal. If you're interested in the China Connect service, but if you want to see some more detail, this page, uh, the China Connect portal, does show some more detail for you. Like for example, it, in the steps part, it tells you the steps that you have to deploy the service in mainland China, and also telling you the kind of uh, hosting service that we Alibaba Cloud can provide, the common architecture that you can see. Like for example, for web hosting, using Alibaba Cloud, you can build an architecture like this, or for e-commerce, for cloud security, there are different architecture that you can follow on on Alibaba Cloud. And of course, if you use our China Connect service, we will have our BD and our SA to help you build the architecture. So you don't need to worry that you use all the service by yourself and you're alone and helpless. Don't, don't need to worry about that. Alibaba Cloud have full, full support service for you. And also the final one is Express Connect, helping you to build a virtual dedicated line to, uh, to hybrid your uh, your uh, cloud service, cloud resources in China and the cloud resources outside China in on Alibaba Cloud. So these are the example architectures that you can see on the Alibaba Cloud China Connect portal. And also this page demonstrates that Alibaba Cloud is actually the dominating cloud service provider because we have the most amount of cloud service regions in China. We have, if you count uh, Hong Kong into consideration, we have eight service regions in China. And the following are some case studies that are the companies that use the China Connect service to success in China. And we have these customer st stories that you can take a look to see are you fall into this kind of category. And if so, you can really consider using our China Connect service and to get a great success. And then uh, the following, there are some uh, videos that actually I do recommend everyone to take a look. These are the uh, webinars that we did earlier 
to talk about the China Connect service, like we talk about the cybersecurity compliance that you have to follow for uh, foreign companies in China. We talk about a, a guide to help you do the cybersecurity compliance in China. And also we introduce the ICP license in 2016-17 in these three webinars. So please take a look later after this uh, online session. And then here are some uh, frequently asked questions and some further resources that you can take a look. Like for example, I do recommend everyone to take a look at why you need an ICP license. And also uh, there are some guidelines for using the CDN in China and also the, the kind of uh, China SEO guide for web hosting. So there are a lot of useful resources that you can take a look in here. And also if you want to look at some more uh, online courses relate to the ICP thing, then you do can, I do recommend you guys can come to here as well. So we Alibaba Cloud Online uh, Training and Certification Team, we now launch a new service called the Alibaba Cloud Academy. And the address is here, edu.alibabacloud.com. So if you come here and you'll see that we have some uh, free e-learning courses here. And also we have the Apsara Clouder certifications that you can take a look and if you press learn more then you'll see that we have some cloud computing specialist certification that relate to uh, relate to deploying a website in in China and also deploying a dynamic website in China some things like this and if you're interested in uh, how to deploy the website in China and also try want to make sure that your website comply to the ICP, the compulsory ICP licensing thing, then we do have a category of courses in here in the cloud computing specialist certification category. And you can take a look at here to buy the courses and take a look. So let me check. So that should be the last page of the training material I like to share in today's session. Okay, bye-bye.